Hey everyone, it's me Charmelaine and I'm back for another episode of the Pokemon Platinum Woodlock. So, if you weren't here last time, last episode, some tragic things happened. And Polly died. And our new Pokemon that I don't really care about died. So anyway. So here's our pay. Sparkly. I decided to just use Sparkly, so. Here we go. And we have Brocco. So what we've got... Here's what I'm planning on doing. I plan to get Brocco a partner and then get some more partners. So anyway, basically get more Pokemon. So I try... I'm going to try to skip a few trainers because I don't want to have any battles right now. I just want to collect a team, then go back and do some battles to level them up. And I seem to have a lot of Pokeballs, so that's good. Hmm. Let's see if I can get something better, though. Because I may want to get a Ralts. If I do, that would be amazing and great. So, but the thing about it is, I don't want it to use Teleport. Because then that's just bad. So I'm going to see if there's anything else. Heal and net balls. I've got one net ball. I'll buy a few net balls and then just in case we find a Beedoof or something. I don't know. A lot of people, I think a lot of people don't like Beedoof too much. Except for, T well, HM Slave. So, but maybe I could find a use for him. If I could find one. But I would need a good Pokeball to catch it. Because I don't want that thing using Rollout and killing my team. So. Yeah, I don't like that. I won't want that to happen. So basically. Let's keep on going. I have a bicycle now. So I can go up there. That's good. So. While I'm talking about it. Let's. What? There we go. Well, I'm talking about it, let's get on up there and take it off, because I don't want to accidentally run into somebody. I already fought these two terrible twins. So now I'm just gonna run across, well, walk across slowly. Do I have any repels? I have six repels. Good. Can't catch anything here, because I already tried and all, so. Just make sure the ones I want are up front. Sharp pretty good. Let's go. You gotta be careful when you're doing these kind of things, because one wrong move and a Pokemon died. Let me see if I can switch to my dowsing machine. See if there's any items over here. One right here. Revive. Gee, that's helpful for money. Cyrus, the blue-haired hedgehog. Anyway, according to the one theory, Mount Coronet is where the Sinnoh region began. In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded, there should have been no strife. But what became of that world? Because the human spirit is weak, and incomplete strife has spread. This world is being ruined by it. I find this state of affairs to be deplorable. Oh. Well, there's Cyrus on his wipe out the human race kind of rants. Anyway. Let's keep going. And get out of here. Watch out for trainers. Watch out for... Let me see if I got any items I can give my Pokemon. It'd be nice if I could get a power-up item. Because those are useful for powering up moves and stuff. I have an insect plate, so... I have a bug type, which I just lost. I could just power them up a little bit. That'd be nice. But until then, at least I have berries. 
I'll give this orange berry to someone. He's holding a cherry berry. He doesn't need that anymore. It's better to have health. Wait a minute. Speaking of health, how many potions do I Oh. I'll be fine. Walk past. Are you gonna move? Gonna move? I guess not. <laughs> You're just a little kid. How are you supposed to be a big man like me? Simple, with my weird meditating monkey looking thing. So, we've got a nose pack. Hmm. Let me see. Meditate, boost attack, calm mind, boost special attack, special attack. I'm gonna lose my special attack. Oh. I need to turn on battle animations. Whoops. I can't run away. Wasn't planning to, buddy. I was like, can switch into his sparkly, and he is not the right levels for these kind of battles yet. Confusion. Goodbye. So that's all that guy had. Not bad. And I repel where it off, so... Oh well. Try not to run into a lady. Okay. So our encounter for this route is... First encounter is a... What? Okay. Can't catch you, you're a boy, and Brocco is a boy. I see, I need a girl. So, that's one. Who's next? Wow, the same thing. Is it that same Beedoo? No, it's a Roselia. That would be nice to have. Because the only weakness that Brocco has is grass type. So, if I have a grass type to counter that, and a poison type to beat up other grass types, that's actually kind of good. But second encounter. What is this? Third is a... Another bee -doof. Don't tell me it's going to be like last episode where I was just messing up with all these encounters. So third encounter is a bee -doof. Fourth encounter. Is it a girl? Are you a girl? No, you're a boy. Are you serious? Final encounter is... Come on, be a girl, be a girl, be a girl! A oh, boy. Just... Great. Well, that happened. And another Pokemon. Why couldn't you have showed up one turn before? Are you serious? Oh, well. I still have another chance to catch Ralts. It's on another route. So, there's that. And, he, in a, wait, in Heart Home City, I can catch a, um, an Eevee from BB. And, it may be a chance of it being a female, hopefully. Well, I don't know, but I don't know if there's a chance of it being female, hopefully. But anyway. If it is a female, I think I'm gonna use it, so that'd be nice. So I can at least pop in house. So I can at least check. Hi, B. Yes, I would. Oh, it's not even an egg? Well, then it might just be a boy. Yep, it's a boy. Well, 
I guess I'm gonna keep it as my encounter for her home city. I just can't use it yet. So let me think. A name for a, an Eevee. Give me a second. Okay, so I'm back. So, Eevee is a small fox dog thing, so... I'm gonna name him after the dog Pomeranian. But instead of naming him a Pomeranian, I'm gonna name him Palmer. Whoops. Palmer. So, we have Palmer the Eevee, but not right now. I can check him, though. Check his stats. Calm nature. It's good. He has decent special defense. And adaptability, which powers up moves of the same type. So, normal type moves should do a lot of damage. That's good. So, there's Palmer. Nice. And now he's going into Pokemon Center. Big, whoops, my camera. So yeah, he's going into Pokemon Center. After I get my camera right. Wrong way. There we go. It's right next door. He's going right with, um, he's going right with my Togepi, which I can also pick if I choose to. How about we go to the, um, how about we go here, see if we can actually get in, because only certain Pokemon are allowed cute Pokemon, kind of. And I guess we don't have any. Jeez, your lady, do you have any business at all? Goodness. Can I just go and scroll with my shiny Dialga? Oh well. take that chance over there because if I get a fight from Cheddar, I'm going to be probably toast because I need to level up. Let me see. Let me check my map. For any places at all I can go to. Okay. Can't go there yet. Been to Sanjin Town. Jubilee City as well. Route 204. Been to Floroma Town. And the Eternal Forest. Been to Eternal City. Route 206. And been to Route 207. Route 208. Been there. Wait a minute. This is Route 206. Route 207. And, and I just got encountered this on Route 208. We have Route 212 down here, but I can't go there yet. And we have Route 209. Oh well. So. We need a girl for Brocco. Seriously need one. Hmm. Oh well. At least we have Sharpay and Brock. Wait. 
At least we have Sharpay and Sparkly. And since he's actually gonna be used, I'm probably gonna need to rename him someday, but if I don't, then oh well. Um. So. There is not a lot for me to do right now. I've seriously gotta find a way to get a partner for Brocco. Because the thing is, I want a Garchomp on my team. But, I also want to use a Togepi or the Eevee. Now, here's the plan. If I get a female for Brocco, then I can get a... Then I can put Togepi on my team. And since it's a boy, then I'll just look for a female Gibble in the cave. That way, I'll have another Pokemon. And they make a great team, so... There's that. But now that I haven't found a female for Brocco, this is a problem. So that would probably so basically I would need to go through this entire gym without using him. Because this would be hard. And looking at my Pokemon. Let me check. Sparkly, really good defense. And he's only level 16. When he's out the right when he's like level 26, he'll have higher defense than special defense, which is good. And... But he doesn't have a lot of attack, is the thing. But, wait a minute. He has 15 attack. So, well, special attack. And he has confusion. And confuse, right. Here's an idea I could do. I could just kind of put Spark, level her up a lot, and then... I could use her, try to confuse the gym leader and stuff, and then just hope she stays alive to beat the gym leader. That way I'll have more roots optional to me, and get a Pokemon after I beat Cheddar. So, that's an idea. And then once I have a partner for Brocco, I can pick a boy partner, and then get a female Pokemon. So that's a good plan. The problem is surviving, basically. I need to get to the team that can fight Fantina and live. Because I don't want to lose my team to Fantina. So how about we just kind of... They do allow Piplup in that place, and there are some items I can get. Maybe I can come up with a good idea or strategy to help me win. And then, so, because I, I don't really have a lot of more encounters left. Unless I go to that cave where the Gibbles are, but I don't want to get a Gibble with, um, Brocco. Because, well, actually, I may want to think about that. Because, Garchomp is weak to, he's a dragon ground type, so, really weak to ice. And he's also weak to dragon. Now, the only and ice isn't going to be weak on ice isn't going to be weak on Brocco. So, hmm, if I do choose to do that. It could actually work out, because the only weakness I have on Brocco is grass type, and grass is not for, well, no, grass is normally effective on a Garchomp, so I could probably take out a grass type better with Garchomp. Now, if I pair him with Togekiss, I'll have that flying type to take out the grass type for weaknesses, and I'll have him as the barrier of electric types, just to take electric type hit and ice type moves. So, it could work with me getting a Gibble, but hopefully, well, maybe I won't need to, but if I do end up having to do that, it won't be the worst thing. It actually probably work out too. And so I'm gonna get this big mushroom. And I know you're probably all bored of hearing me rant about strategies, planning, and a team and stuff, but. You gotta think about these things when you're doing a wedlock, or nuzlocke, or anything like that. But anyway, um, I'm gonna get my zombie to help me get items that are in there. 
because it's not like there are any battles in there, so it's okay, kind of, to me. At least, it should be. Hopefully. Hopefully. Anyway. Let me go get the zombie out. Hi, Palmer and Togepi. Why, Polly? Why? You could have been great for that gem. Oh, well. Got anything to say now, lady? Thank you. Let's go, zombie of Huskiki. And let's go into this weird thing. This weird Flintstone-like structure. That has warping teleportation. Attract. Maybe something that might save my life someday. Anyway, let's keep exploring for items. And let me see if you're holding anything. Hey, 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 wait, wait. There. There we go. Too bad we can't catch any Pokemon here. This is neat. It's like a mini Sinnoh. And this is Mount Coronet. There's a secret on top of Mount Coronet, guys, says secret power. I wonder, that might have been a hint of what's going to happen later. There is a secret in Mount Coronet at the base. Well, not the base, but like the, the spear pillar. Anyway, there's an item over there. I got to get over there. Let me see if you're holding something. Are you kidding me? Come on. There we go. Blackbeard. I didn't know you were a pirate, zombie husky. So you're husky the pirate now. Well, that's me. Well, let's go on to the other side of this place. Bet we can't have our Pokemon out like that guy. Are you two twins or something? Like, there's another lady that looks just like you on the other part of that. But if we're talking like real in game, like real life kind of thing, you two probably have a slight difference, but oh well. Right now, what I can see is that you two are looking exactly the same. And we got an amulet coin, now we can get a lot of money. But right now, I just need to worry about living in this game, because Fantina has that Miss Magius. And Miss Magius, my goodness. I get to that item somehow. It keeps taking me over there. So, is there something over here? That keeps taking me back here. Maybe I was supposed to do it on that other side of the place. So these two are just like connected, so anyway. Let me see what this girl has to say. There is an item over there. I can't get it. I've got to get it. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's try over here. That's me over here. And if I go back, it takes me over here. Those two are useless. Let's see over here. There's got to be a way to that place, like, there's, there has to be, so, we're just gonna have to keep going until we figure it out. There's just got to be a way up there. These are ruins, so... Maybe I can step here and step this way. Does that take me anywhere different? Nope. No, it doesn't. I'm going to try to find the entrance to that place. You know what, guys? I am going to pause the camera and find an entrance to that place. So, be right back. Okay, after some time, I figured it out. Well, actually, and by figured out, I mean walk into houses a bunch of times, going left or right. Anyway, we got a spooky plate. Wish I had a ghost type for that to work with, but... Also, guys, I want to try to go on the ground again. See what I get. So, since I'm in Hard Home City, I'm going to try that. Because we're in a different part of Sinnoh, so we should be in a different area on the ground. I can keep trying to get a fossil, and if I don't, then at least I can still get some cool items. Oh, and if you guys have anything you may know about, or any Pokemon you may want to suggest or anything, that if I like it and I want to get it, then I could try to get it if you tell me. So, give me feedback or something. That'd be nice. Anyway, we're in the center part, and our radar has already picked up some things. It's good to be in this center part because there should be some good spawning items if they do spawn or anything like that. Um, is it up or down? Up it is. And there it is. So, let me move my camera down. You guys can see. Whoops. Whoops. Again. There we go. Now you guys can see. My bottom screen. So. Wait. What is that? Oh. It's not a fossil, but it's still something useful if I want rain to last longer. Um. Well, actually, it does something. Um, I think it just increases sunny day or something like that. Are there any fossils here? Whoa, big gem. But I don't need a gem, so, because that's unless I want to use my, um, place. Gain the icy rock. 
Hey, there's another one. Two items this time. Let me get this. And after this, I'm just gonna skip. Well, actually, I'm just gonna pause the camera. What is that? A shard. At least I can keep me. Wait. Wait. It's a fossil. Come on. Yes, I got a fossil. The armor fossil. So yay, we found a fossil. But I'm gonna keep looking for more. Or just keep looking for stuff. But I'm not gonna show this, so... Give me some time. And I'll see you later. Okay guys, I'm back and... Here are the things I found. I got a green shard, a yellow shard, a blue shard, an armor fossil, earth plate, icy rock, red shard, heart scale, armor, white armor fossil. So, I got a few armor fossils. So hopefully one of them is a girl. And, wait. Why do they make this an option? Like, why don't they just automatically go to the bag? Put in bag. Because if someone just leaves out of here and forgets to actually put the items in your bag, you're going to have to go all the way back down here. And it just seems like a better idea to kind of just put them in the bag. Because what are you going to use them for down here? There's no use to keep them down here, basically. So, unless you could sell them then for, like, gem things, then that would be one reason. But I don't know if you, I don't think you can. So, there's no reason. Now let me pop back on my top screen. Okay, so I'm back. So. Here's an idea. I'm gonna get on my bicycle. I'm going to ride all the way back to Orbor City, because I cannot fly. And I guess I'm gonna try to... Get a good Pokemon. I may want to try to get Spiritomb also. When I can go to a certain route. Because that would be a great Pokemon. Because in this game he has no weaknesses. That's not true in X and Y though. Because of the Fairy type. So. He could be. He would be a really good Pokemon to have. Considering. Um. He's no weaknesses. Let me see. Repels. Use. Pokemon up front. Sure pay. We are set. Now I just gotta try to dodge this guy. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Too bad this isn't black and white too, or X and Y, where you can automatically put another repel on and you don't have to go back into your bag for one. But oh well. We are now... We are now back in Orborg City. And Bell wore off just in time. Let's revive these fossils. So what I'm gonna do is give it like a five chances kind of thing for Orboric City. Basically, if I run out of, if my Pokemon like if I don't find a girl in five chances, then I get nothing. So, or I could just put in my PC. Nah. Here we go. Outside, sir. Let's see. And now I'm going back in. You were gone too long. I just stepped outside. Oh well. You received the shield on. Which is a really bulky Pokemon. Give it a nickname. Are you a girl? No, you're a boy. 
so I will not name you. I will try again. So far I got like three fossils from there, so I have one more chance after this, and is it a girl? It is a boy. No nickname for you. Here's another one. Is it a girl? This is your shield on. But no, I cannot. You have too many Pokemon. Oh. Oh. I see. Gotta put them in a the PC. So. To the PC box key, shield on, go. And since I cannot use them, I'm going to put them in a dead box. more chances after this, but I have to go look for fossils and all, so yeah. Is it? No, it's a boy. Why? I have to be a boy. Why? What's this happening? Where are the girls in this game? I might decide to just get Garchomp for the for Rocco. It could work out. Now I just need to dodge all these Pokemon trainers. Oh, those are some berries. Use another repel. Have one left. That's not the right entrance. The real entrance to get gibbles are somewhere around here. I gotta keep walking. There we go. Secret, well hidden, um, place. Who do I want up front for this? Do I really want Brocco to fight these things? 
he's a really good Pokemon, but I don't want to use him for this. I want to use the one I know that won't die from things. And while I'm at it, I might as well try to get far in this cave. So anyway, first encounter is a... It's a Ronzor. Oops, claws. So that was the first encounter. Next is a... Is it a Gibble? Is it a Gibble? It's a Zubat. And it's a boy. Oops, claws again. Oh my goodness. Come on, Gibble girl. Come on, girl, Gibble. I know you want to pop out. Are you a Gibble? You're a Geodude? That's a male. What is with all the stupid boy Pokemon in this game right now? Like, why are the girls? Did they leave on some kind of party or something? What is going on here? Number four. Bronzor. This sucks. It's really... It stinks badly. I'm gonna use a repel. Yay, Max Scepter. One, two, three. Are you serious? And the last encounter is a bronze or Yay. Didn't even find a gibble. My encounters lately have been stupid. Yay, thank you for appearing. Just thank you. Thank you. You appear right at the end. Get out of here, you stupid thing. Yep. You see? You see this. The girls are now coming right when my encounters are over. You know what, guys? You know, I think I'm going to make a decision. Another... I'm just going to make a rule change here. Um, for my encounters, I will count areas as different areas. Because this is ridiculous. Like, um... So, for example, this cave, for example. There are two parts to this cave. There's this part of Waver Cave, and there's another part. Like, I can count these two as separate areas. And any other area I've been on my map, I'm going to check. Because this has been... You know what? Never mind. I'm gonna grab this item instead. That boosts poison-type moves. That may come in handy someday. Oh, well. Anyway, guys... I think I'm going to end this episode off now. Well, yeah. I'm going to end it now before anything bad happens or anything worse happens. Because these encounters lately have been stupid and ridiculous. But, it's okay. So, thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment if you enjoyed the video. Give me a like and subscribe. Um, so, um, I'm going to save. So basically, goodbye.